All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started on these. It's like 11 o'clock at night, but whatever. So go, ahead, go ahead and open these up. Come individually, you know, behind each little sheet of paper. It's pretty sweet. Keeps all scratches and stuff off, I guess. Yeah. I think these are gonna look good. Instructions seems uh, pretty straightforward. All right, so we're going to put these uh, these clips, and they are different than these smaller ones. So it looks like. Uh, one here, one here, and the small one down here. You're going to take your bracket, and once you install, then it's got this little cutout right here. And then you're going to bend this um, so that you bend it toward the back of the car so that you know you have no tire clearance issues uh, whenever you're turning. All right, guys, it's kind of dark, hard to see, but you got a uh, short bolt, short bolt, long bolt, and you got the spacer back behind there and you have another push pin that you add that's a longer one uh, to that back corner there and then you know you have got it uh, you know curved towards the rear of the car and uh, make sure that it's you know pretty much parallel to the ground and that's pretty much it the front's done and then you'll do the uh, the other side the other front it's too easy so now we're gonna move on to the rear All right, guys, finished up with the rear, and I'm going to show you kind of how it goes. So you've got a, uh, a washer and a washer that fit on these that are already kind of, you know, already on there. Um, here and then down in there. And again, you can curve this bottom or whatever like the, before. What I do find helpful is uh, you can bend this slightly towards, you know, along with the, the car a little bit. It'll help you kind of get it in there, but um, in the bottom, it's already kind of slightly angled, but, you know, there's a, uh, a, a plug that comes out here, and then this whole thing slides up into the, uh, the back bumper here, and, uh, and then there's one screw that goes in the center once you put the, uh, the little cap on here. Get it aligned. That's it. The rear was... Uh, I think a lot easier in the front, but uh, anyway, we're going to jump to the other side and uh, complete the car, but for the purpose of this video, that pretty much sums it up. Um, overall, I think it's going to be a great product. You know, I, I almost considered going with the rock blocks, but, you know, these do kind of look a little better, and, uh, you know, they're a little bit more forgiving, which, uh, you know, could come in handy later on, you know. Maybe in uh, various types of like, you know, depths of snow or mud or whatever. Not that I'm going to mud in this thing, but snow, yeah, maybe. Um, but anyway, you know, it's a little more forgiving, a little bit more flexible. It's, it's shiny black, and I think it does go well with the color of the car. So, looks good.